The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized for two minutes. I thank the speaker and I thank the chairman. I rise in strong support of H.R. 3312, a bipartisan bill, a majority of the majority party and a majority of the minority party on our committee reported this bill to the House floor. And it's sponsored by my friend, Chairman Blaine Lukemeyer, who has spent years studying Dodd-Frank, seven long years of studying the impact of Dodd-Frank and how to improve it. This bill removes a requirement that uses $50 billion as an asset test to designate whether a banking company in this country is systemically important. And if they are, subject them to higher regulatory standards. But instead of ending too big to fail, Dodd-Frank's misdesig desig uh, misguided designation regime just entrenches it, Mr. Speaker. Authorizing the government to designate large financial institutions as systemically important creates a new class of firms that markets will interpret and assume are too big to fail. The SIFI designation, as noted by many members on this side of the aisle, is in fact arbitrary, and I respect my friend, that other numbers in statute may be arbitrary as well. But this one doesn't have any economic basis on why the participants in designing Dodd-Frank picked $50 billion. But over the past seven years, we have had witness after witness tell us that we should look a different direction and not have an arbitrary number of $50 billion. Several Federal Reserve officials have expressed that similar view. Mr. Frank, as noted, has expressed that view. And so here comes Mr. Lukemeyer with an excellent idea, an idea of an activities-based designation that the Fed has designed itself, Mr. Speaker. The Federal Reserve has designed the metric we're using to say that an institution is systemically important. It's activities-based so that we can distinguish between levels of risk that might be systemically important to our country. Well, the gentleman, you only 30 seconds. Additional 30 seconds. The gentleman's recognized I thank for additional 30. So activity-based standards have already been found effective by the Federal Reserve. They work. And they were used in evaluating acquisitions on regional banking companies. So Mr. Lukemeyer is on to a good idea. And instead of using $50 billion, Mr. Speaker, that was plucked out of thin air in the dead of night in the conference committee in 2010, let's reflect on seven years and operate in a better way. So I urge support of this bill, Mr. Speaker. I thank Mr. Lukemeyer for bringing it, and I urge our senators on the other end of this building to look at this as a model for how we should reform Dodd-Frank in their own bill, and I yield back. Gentleman yields back the balance of his